Hey guys, this is Harris Knight, and welcome back after all this time to Let's Play Mega Man X7. Blah, blah, blah. Let's get this show on the road. I hate this game. Anyway. So, okay, cutscene after the first Robot Master down. Okay. Well, as a robot, do you really actually you pick it up? How could you not know? Unless he meant as in learning it as a new program or something and being installed. Red found me. I've been defeating enemies ever since. That's it. That's all you know. You've just been killing a bunch of robots for him. Okay. Sure. Okay, so the walkthrough is telling me next uh, to go to the radio tower. So let's check that out. I guess I kind of like the way they did the menu. I don't know. Okay, now what the hell is this? You know, like, a couple of the Mega Man games had a sort of gag robot, you know, the one that just kind of acted dorky, but this is ridiculous. I Like, for instance, in Mega Man X4, it was Split Mushroom, but, you know, he was entertaining in a way. Oh, okay, Aelia, what you want? For getting strong energy readings. Find a good approach point. Okay. I guess that means avoid damage while I find out where its weak point is so you can actually engage it. You know, honestly though, I don't know what's the point in rescuing Reploids if there's not even any danger posed to them. I guess it's just to... I guess it's sort of this game's version of just getting random power-ups throughout the level just to help you along. And I guess in that case it kind of makes a weird bit of sense because, you know, you, when you really think about it, it's like, why would the enemies drop power-ups for you to help you along? I mean, like in the regular Mega Man games, did you, <laughs> did you wonder, you know, okay, why did Wily build them to actually you know, help Mega Man as he defeats him, like, replenish his life. Less of a chance of him dying. Okay, cool. Not doing too good on health. This gameplay just seems boring as shit. In comparison to previous X games. And why can't they simply have you revert, like... I think something they did in X8 that was very convenient was um, even on the last hit, uh, you could just you just automatically switch to another character. And I think um, you know I think in whoever you were playing as when it's health, just dropping on my head. This is really annoying. Whoever you were playing as when their health dropped all the way down, the only penalty was that you couldn't play as them for the rest of that, you know, life. Like, they would not come back with, you know, with recovered health or anything. But no, here, even though Axel is in the fray... And how'd you... Okay, there we go. You know, even though there were other people in the fray, um, you know, in Zero's case, it would be... You know, X and Axel could come down. But here, you know, Axel, Axel's available. And yet, you know, if Zero, if Zero's health goes all the way down, it counts as a lost life. So it's like, you have to remember to switch over to Axel. You can't use their health to the fullest. And that's just stupid. Ugh. 
So this is Soldier Stone Kong's weapon. Oh my gosh, I can't even say that name. And I guess it's just uh, your typical shield type weapon that's usually in every Mega Man game. You know, I had no idea. I had no idea Zero and Axel were such pussies in this game. They literally can take almost no damage. Oh my gosh. This is just. There's something just aggravating about this. I guess there's no getting around that. Okay, now... While standing, press and hold the square button. So this is... Oh my gosh. This... That was Soldier Stone Kong's weapon, supposedly. If that's supposed to act as a shield, it's quite possibly the worst shield of all time. This music is so bland. It's so... And I don't know how I actually touched that, like, just, I don't know, somehow the gameplay in this really just seems to suck. And, yeah, yeah, that was pretty bad, I know. Okay, the point is to just keep making it through and supposedly eventually um, Ailey is supposed to help us okay what have we got here uh, increases normal attack power by 50% wow that seems increases power recovery items you know what I could probably use that above anything else and again, I do, uh, so far I am, I am liking that idea. Yeah, Zero and Axel definitely can't take much damage. It's almost like just having one character all over again. More like one character's health, normal health is split off into two people. And I cannot tell where those things are coming from until it's way too late. But I think if I proceed slowly, I'll probably be better off in the long run. Seriously, they literally just drop right in front of you. That's ridiculous. Okay, for once managed to avoid the fire that time. And it's like, Zero's saber, um, you know, if he does his saber while in the air, it almost like it propels him forward into the enemy. Okay, so is that all this stage is? It's just one long spiral with this guy? Just trying to avoid his crap? Well, at the very least, I can say this is probably the farthest I've ever gotten so far. Yeah, 
Okay. So, does this spiral end anytime soon? Oh no, not that again. Yay, we rescued Allison. Big friggin' deal. By the way, are all the Reploids I've been rescuing female? Yeah, Axel is not too good in this respect. Okay, Leah, what do you gotta say? Well, I probably would have figured that out on my own eventually, just its head. Please tell me I do not have to start over at the very beginning. I sure do. Oh my god. Yeah, it's like my saber is somehow propelling me forward as I try to attack these before they get me. And I don't know why some of them are destroyed in one hit and others... I guess there's no way to get ahead of the fireball. And of course, because Axel does this retarded dive roll at the end of each slide, that just makes things worse. You know what, guys? I'll catch you when I get back up there. Uh, yeah. Okay, this seems to work quite well. Until I fell there.
Ugh. Freaking finally! Okay, but apparently that's only one half of the level. God willing, it will not make me start all the way over if I lose here. Okay, what was that? That was a little bit more interesting and not nearly as frustrating as it was in the beginning. I mean, as the first one was. Huh! I was able to be of service. Oh, well, Axel's energy did not, in the least, replenish. That's nice. about you guys just when I play this game I'm just not feeling the Mega Man X probably because you're not even playing as him for one okay well this is interesting now what
Okay, that wasn't too bad. If you fall off, you just kind of go down to the next spiral. It's just too bad Axel's uh, weapon is... <laughs> basic weapon is just so friggin' weak. What was that? Is that a... Is that a heart container? Okay. Oh, thank you. They do not make you go all the way back to the beginning. Actually, what does Aelia have to say? Head for the top. Well, that's what I was planning on doing anyway. Now what? You'll need to use bounding. What a pain. As soon as he moves, attack. I'm not sure what she means by that. I figure you just keep, you know, trying to hit him. no idea what those little things are that are coming out of the ground, but do they even attack? Okay, I'm not really close enough here to... You know this is really awesome music by the way. I'm sure you're all enjoying it thoroughly. This is definitely what I expected out of, an, out of a Mega Man X game. Ugh. Okay. So when these guys are right on you, it seems like you can't even actually target them. They're like just out of your range, but where they can... Oh, so these things were just supposed to be shields, but for some reason they'll... Instead of keeping their shield in front of you, they'll... Rotate to the other side at random. Leaving themselves completely vulnerable. Honestly, where are these platforms coming from? They just literally blink into existence. Okay. I don't think I've met a single uh, male maverick hunter that needs rescuing so far. Is this game trying to be sexist? Okay, so, um, apparently this is where we meet Tornado Tanyan. Oh my gosh, what is this? This is by far the most annoying boss I think I've ever come across in my entire life. Okay, I get the picture. Let's get this over with. Are you sure you need to actually warn me about this guy? Alright, let's see what this guy does. Well, that's um... Pretty nice moves, I guess. I'm just gonna stay here until Zero's health drains and then switch to Axel. Because I really have no idea how to touch him with Zero otherwise. Let's 
telling me that, you know, of course, soldiers, like, I'm, the walkthrough was going in order of, you know, just starting with one guy and whoever's got the next weakness to his weapon after that. He's telling me to use Soldier Stone Kong's weapon, but I don't know exactly what it's going to do. I guess that can be useful, actually. I mean, it kind of drives him away. It doesn't seem to actually do damage. <laughs> it doesn't even make a sound or anything. He just curlishly yells. I mean, like it doesn't even really hurt him. And and um. Is it really necessary for a boss to take this much damage? Axel's, like, his regular weapon doesn't even seem to bear, seems to barely budge the meter. Okay, now maybe... Okay, that's nice. Wow, um, actually this does a buttload of damage. Okay, so if he himself touches me, it actually does a lot of damage it looks like. I can at least see the purple part of his meter going all the way down. But if any of his projectiles hit me, then the shield does not take effect. Okay. Fair enough. Problem is... I wasted too much health from Zero just now. Yeah, just, he barely takes any damage at all from Axel. Apparently he's also got a shield going on half the time. <laughs> Seriously, what is the deal with this guy? I don't know, there's just something more slow and boring about the gameplay here. Okay, so, yeah, that's two down, six more painful, probably 30 minute stages long to go. I mean, considering how how fast I've been getting through these so far. Like I said, this is essentially, like, like this is practically my first time. Not essentially, but practically. Okay, so Axel's got a ray gun. And what does Zero do with it? I'd kind of like to know. Okay, so apparently, apparently two of the characters, uh, like the people that needed rescuing in the area, actually did die from something. I just didn't notice. I don't know, I guess maybe if an enemy does touch them after they appear before you, then... Okay, we really need to kind of help out Axel here. 
So Axel can rapidly shot more for his speed. <laughs> rapidly shot more. Okay, I could have said that better. He can shoot more rapidly. But I think we really need to go with power here. Uh, whoops. I'm trying to save. Okay, so next up is the battleship stage with Splash Warfly. Now, I do remember taking on this dude's stage. And as dumb as Splash Warfly is, a Warfly, is that even the actual name of a species of fly? Like, do, do they actually have like a common name, the Warfly? But in any event, it just sounds stupid. So yeah, I have given this stage a go during the one other time I played this game before this. Okay, just save it and let's get out of here. We couldn't automatically go to stage screen from here, we actually have to go back to the results screen so that we can th Okay, this game. Such a bad idea. Oh cool, what we got here? Like I said, my friends in Red Alert are all really skilled red lights. You sure did act like they were bad people what before. Isn't that why you ran away? Gee, sounds like Sigma and his virus again. <laughs> what are we looking at right there? What? That shot was established twice. What is that? Where is that? I... Oh, even when Mega Man joins you, you can only get two people of the three. That's stupid, but okay. I don't know why I couldn't just press OK in the beginning that time anyway. This is one of the lamest boss intros ever. This this game just... It's so subpar on so many little minor things. Ready? Okay. Let's see what Aelia has to say. Wait, I'm actually at Red Alert right now? Red Alert HQ. Honestly, I'm not sure what I'm doing there. It's like carpet bombing, you can't dodge that. Uh, okay. I guess that was another weapon I just don't have yet. Does it really matter if something explodes behind me and obstructs my view? Like, or my path back? 
Okay, what the hell is this? This thing is too gigantic <laughs> to stay on the whole entire screen at once and let you know if I'm anywhere close to it, so I can't even see how he's attacking me. But thus far, I've been safe simply staying next to it. I don't know, this is actually kind of nifty considering. That actually felt slightly intense. But again, if I'm right here at Red Alert HQ, why is not, like, all the superiors out here to arrest me or kill me at once? I mean, this should be, like, the most easily, heavily fortified... Wait, where did I just go? Am I on another ship? Okay, I guess. The runner bombs are destroying the battleship. They intend to take you with them. Well, whoop de shit Um... Okay, so just destroy this wall. That's cool. Wasn't too hard. Oh, finally some, uh... Comrades who are actually male. What's this here? Let's see what Zero can do while dashing. Press the triangle button with uh, Tornado Tanyan's weapon. Okay. What does that do? Oh, that's cool. Apparently it's kind of deflecting the fireballs a little bit. Now I don't seem to be reaching any, either of these other guys. So let's just back up for a second and... Zero, seriously, what kind of thing is that to say? Are you talking to yourself, try again, when you're badly hurt? Aren't you supposed to, like, you know, threaten the bad guys more, put up a front? Or at least talk yourself up? Oh boy. Okay, one more hit and I'm screwed. And then... Probably am. Let's hope I found somebody that can increase my power a little bit more. All right. Okay, so let's give Axel some more power. I just I'm really concerned about that one. Yeah, sorry, and I forgot they kind of default you to know to. Sort of dummy proofing you making a bad decision, I guess. Well, I've been doing better in this stage than the previous two, I'll say that for a first time. Please do not stick me on the same ship. Okay, good. 
Okay, here's another guy, Robert. Totally missed him before. In fact, maybe there's a... Might be a few more guys over here for all I know. And you know, trying to go backwards with this perspective, it really is not... Alright, look at that. Okay, here's another guy over here. I can see the help. So, well, it's kind of nice that they're making you actually use the 3D environment to sort of search for them. Oh, fire hurting me. Now, I seem to be able to get this middle one pretty easily with Zero, so let's go ahead and use the rest of Zero's life to... Okay. There's one. That's the last. Okay, easy enough. So apparently it looks like, uh, according to the walkthrough, there are four segments total. And hey, if I lose a life and just end up right back in the beginning of that segment instead of the whole stage like I had been doing before, like in that forest stage for one, then hey, I've got no complaints about that. Rescue Phil. Oh, shut up, Axel. Such a wuss. Well, as far as I can tell, unless I actually use the triangle button, like the triangle alternate for this uh, special weapon, the Volt Tornado, it do actually does not decrease in MP, so I'm content with using this over my normal buster, quite frankly. Alright, so, looks like I'm just supposed to destroy the turrets at the base of it, and that'll actually defeat the whole thing. Now, this stage actually has a little bit more... I'm actually liking it a little bit more than what I've seen so far. It actually seems to have a kind of interesting thing to it. And while the music's still pretty lame in the action, of course, I mean, I think we're just gonna have to get used to that, but... I don't know, I'm just feeling a little bit more intensity naturally with this one. Okay, but I get to start at the beginning of this with full health, so... I wonder if I can just go around and pass that guy. Yeah, cool. Zero is not very suitable for this. Let's uh, get Axel in here. Okay, yeah, can we skip this? No? Okay. Oh god, now I pissed that guy off and 
Seems like the turrets really can't get me, but I do have to be wary of the fireballs. Boo! Looks like I should spend my time dodging instead of actually when I mean, he does the fireballs. If I ever even actually made it to the boss. Ready? The only other time I played through this game. Well, I didn't play through it, I just played some of it and then got tired of it because it sucked. But yeah. I'm not sure if I ever actually met Splash Warfly face to face, so. Okay, let's see if we can help him out. There we go. You know, I still haven't figured out what it is I'm doing when Axel what it is I'm doing to make Axel actually float through the air a little bit to hover a little bit after his jump I, I can't figure it out it's like okay I know I've done it that way before to try to make him hover and I thought you know, it just didn't seem to work sometimes Apparently, I just need to press in a direction before he reaches the height of this jump, the height of his jump, in order to make him hover forward. I'm not sure, but it, so far it looks like that's what's it. Okay, let's help Henley and not fall into the water, because we all know how that is. And Dale. And Frank. Okay, now boss time. <laughs> Walkthrough saying I'll get very annoyed by his voice before long, but this isn't as bad. as bad as it is. It's not near as bad as the last one, so I think I'll take it. Don't you think it's about time you made your escape? Yes, this is all according to the plan. <laughs> really? You turned this into the ideal battlefield for me. Okay. <laughs> I guess what he means is he knows Zero is susceptible to water, and, and I assume that Splash Warfly was built for it. So having the battleship sink to where Zero is going to have like more, you know, treacherous footing here, I, I suppose that's what he meant. Was it really worth sinking an entire naval battalion though, in order to? Okay, pretty good swordsman to boot here. And indeed, if you fall in the water, that's it. That's cool. I wonder if I found any more power-ups. Is that spelled Todd or Tood? Third guy down. Robert, Todd, I'm, I'm hoping. Can't tell the difference between a D and an O. Or maybe it's just two with three O's, I don't know. That. Uh, no uh, chips or whatever those are that increase our stats. Too bad. <laughs> now 
Now considering this guy has a nice little trident combo going, I guess it would be better to stay away from him and hit him with uh, Axel's, uh, yeah, whatever Tornado Tanyan's weapon is called on Axel's. Take this. Woohoo. Threatening. I don't know why the camera had to pan up on him for a minute and then cut out to a little bit farther away and then give me the warnings. Uh, really? Just. What is the point? Okay. Coming, buddy? I'm waiting for you. Okay, you just decided to bail instantly. That's that's cool. What's the point in just getting on and then instantly getting off? Okay, maybe Axel's not so good for this. We just need to get up and, uh... Looks like with Zero, if I just hit him before he hits me, then we might be good. Half the time he just leaps on, cackles like he's gonna do something evil to you, and then he goes later and then runs. Oh, what was that? Where'd those come from? And that's how he sounds when he dies, he just. <laughs> the hell? This game. I swear I better not get another cut cutless point scene after this because it w we're two for two so far. With D glaive equipped, press. It. Mm, okay, I guess Zero actually just garnishes a whole another weapon in his hand when you switch over to Splash Warfly's weapon, and the name of the technique is Shurutusun. Seratusun. I don't know. A pulsating thrust attack. Hey, that actually sounds kind of cool. Now what does Axel get? Apparently nothing. Or it just wasn't worth describing. I thought it missed uh, describing uh, what Zero what Zero gets for um... No, I think it was Axel last time too. Yeah, when I beat um, what's his name, the Tornado Tanya and that that gay dude, uh, it didn't even describe what Axel gets. But it's, I suppose it's not necessary. You just know that you got to shoot with Axel, or maybe it just tells you. Uh, I mean, they both get the weapon, but maybe it just tells you what it's going to do for the person that you actually beat the boss with. I don't know. This doesn't really make any sense. But anyway, that's... Yeah, that's enough for a little while. I'll get back on this later, guys. It, yeah. Three down. And if, I'm, if my sanity's intact so far, I guess we'll finish it eventually. See ya.